If you watched our last video, then you saw that all of our home siding has arrived, which is very exciting. So in preparation for our massive siding project, we are going to start trimming out all of our windows and doors. We are still waiting on our gable end windows to come in, but for now we can get all of the lower windows and doors completely trimmed out. Very exciting. It is very exciting. So exciting. Melissa and I are gonna be using a four inch LP smart siding trim up against all of our exterior doors and windows. We're gonna be painting that black because we actually want it to match the frame on the doors and windows themselves. It'll give us that nice chunky look that we're going for. Plus it won't take away from our Everlong siding which has more of a wood finish to it. Today with painting our trim, we're going to be painting the piece that will be exposed black all the way around. And then there will be another piece underneath where we only need to paint the sides. With this Everlog siding, it sticks out a little bit. So we're actually going to be doubling up all of our trim that way it's not recessed inside. It's gonna be sticking out a little bit more, which is just kind of the look that we wanted. No, but... Ooh, mama, I am liking that first piece. It looks good. How's it going on? Only 41 left to go. It's going on really thick, really dark, full coverage, so we won't have to do two coats, which is really good news. I think it's going to make those windows pop. I dig it. Me too. Melissa? Jeremy? On our subfloor? Really? I stamped it. I thought you were a pro when it came to getting everything painted up in here. I, You've been doing it for like the last month. Come on. I feel like I've been doing it for the last month. Unacceptable. You should come help. So the reason we're inside getting all of this done is because the weather outside really hasn't been cooperating for the last couple of days. It's been really damp and wet and rainy. So we brought everything in here. We actually have a paint sprayer that we could have used outside, but again, with the weather being what it is, this is just a better option. Besides, Melissa's had a lot of practice, like I said. This is my favorite pastime. It's all she does now. So we got 22 boards with their first coat. We thought we'd only have to do one coat, but as it's drying, it is apparent that we will be painting a second coat. Now, Jeremy also told me that we had to paint the outside of the board that's going to be underneath since we are doubling our trim. I just now was informed by Jeremy that he wanted to paint the outside so that it looks pretty for the week that it will be up before we put the siding on. Not all of the siding is gonna be up in a week. And in the amount of time that all of this is gonna be exposed and visible, yeah, it's gonna bug me. My OCD is gonna kick in and I'm not gonna like the little striped look that we have butted up against the wall and all the windows and doors. So I decided <laughs> that since when the siding is up and it's not going to show at all that we're not gonna spend the remainder of the day painting that. Outside. I like things to look good, Mama. I like things oh, to look, look nice. Oh, look at you sucking up. And yet all you're doing is just, just all right, well, we'll paint it shouting at me and nice making me embarrassed. Whatever you want. Well, I guess since I'm in trouble with my wife for <laughs> suggesting that we do a second pristine, Beauty proper coat. trim coating. Unnecessary. On the outer edge. Invisible. Of our sub trim. Do you want to paint underneath the floor too? Do you want to go in the crawl space and then like paint out the pony walls? Melissa, let's not be ridiculous here. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a quick lunch break. Everything seems to be drying up relatively quickly. So we'll come back out and do a second coat. Yes, we will. For good coverage. <laughs> okay. That, yes. We're back from lunch. It is officially second coat time. Sure. That is the wrong side. <laughs> I'm good over here, Melissa. It's officially second coat time. <laughs> last one, on the last one. Last one, Daddy, last one. We're gonna need more paint. Oh, we're gonna need more paint. 
Yeah. And cancel all my afternoon appointments. Respect. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Mrs. Pop, Mrs. Pop. All right, let the drying begin. Looks good, a second coat with the nose. Yeah, now, now it looks good. All right, tomorrow, we'll trim. Trim it up, trim it up, trim it up. You can't carry me the whole way. Before Jeremy and I get started with our work day, I'm going to get the kids homeschooled. Luckily today is KiwiCo Day. These fun little educational boxes come once a month, shipped to our door. My favorite part is I don't have to go to the store or plan lessons, and the kids love them because it gives them a little break from our usual homeschool curriculum. KiwiCo is defining the future of play by making it engaging, enriching, and seriously fun. They create super cool hands-on projects and toys designed to expose our kids to the concepts in STEAM which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Each box comes with all the supplies needed for that month's project. Detailed, kid-friendly instructions, and an educational magazine filled with content to learn even more about that crate's theme. Each monthly crate is designed by experts and tested by kids, and teaches a new theme through hands-on learning and fun. KiwiCo offers eight subscription lines, each catering to a different age group and topic. These kids might be small today, but they'll be big tomorrow. And KiwiCo wants to give them the creative confidence to know that they can solve problems without one right answer. I love that Kaimani's solution may be completely different from Eli's, and they are encouraged to use their own creativity and critical thinking to become fearless innovators. You can get 50% off your first month of any crate by going to kiwico.com slash goodsimpleliving linked below. The kids are going to continue to play with their new creations, and I'm going to get to work. We had a really fun homeschool day, but now that we got that wrapped up, I'm coming out to help Jeremy get all of the trim on. We're going to hopefully finish this up today so that we can focus on getting our gable end windows in and then trimming those out. And then we can start on the siding, which is so exciting. You guys are gonna hear a little bit of banging in the background. That is because our electrical has started. Jeremy and I are going to be doing all of the final plumbing and electrical, but we wanted the roughing to be done by professionals because those are the two things that we do have codes and inspections for out here, electrical and plumbing. So we did all of our electrical and plumbing inside the tiny home, but it's not something that we know a lot about or really enjoy. And this being our forever home and our dream home, we wanna make sure that it is done correctly. So we're gonna let the professionals do the rough in and then we'll take it from there. You crying because you're not doing electrical? No, I got something in my eye. I'm smiling because I'm not doing electrical. <laughs> Plumbing and electrical, not my thing, not my bag. All right, what are we doing today? We're gonna be trimming out our windows with everything it is we got painted up the other day. So everything dried up nicely. We'll get everything cut to length and uh, put up, stuck up, nailed in place. The first window that Melissa and I are attacking is this small bathroom window here on the back side of the house. I figured we start with a small window and gradually work our way up to the big slider up front. So. For this window, we got started a little early. I got the initial bottom ugly non-painted sorry strips set around this window. So we have all our measurements. I actually cut the exterior strip that's going to go over this one. Uh, basically, we're just going to double these up. It'll stick out past the window, which I know is a little different look, but it's a requirement with uh, the thickness of our siding. So we'll get that second layer put on here. And we'll just continue on the process. Mom will work our way all the way around the house. Sounds good. I will paint the ends for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Perfect. We got a faulty compressor issue. Take two. Here we go. <laughs> make it make it sexy this time. Wow. Oh, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Spider. You're going to need to get off that board. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Look at He's got his little fists up. Let's Burn it. Jeremy? Burn it. I'm going to need you to remove this fuzzy We guy. don't need that piece. Let's move on. <gasps> Sent the cute little spider on his way. Much to Jeremy's dismay. 
No, it's time to get back we to didn't a cute him. little husband. All right. Just... Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> there, my, my enthusiasm has waned. Slow, yeah. That's the... That's the stuff. <laughs> that's, that's the stuff dreams are made of. I wanted to show you guys why it is that we're doubling up on our trim. The Everlog siding does stick out a little bit, which is what gives it the realistic log look. And so in holding this up, I realized that perhaps a very smart and handsome husband was maybe a little correct. I'm trying to kiss up now. In that <laughs> the underneath board does show a tiny bit only in that little triangle in between. I am so happy we're documenting this right the now. The logs. This is amazing. Hey, it's fine. I would like to point out that I saved us a lot of paint in that only a small portion needs Don't to Don't try to spin it. <laughs> okay, You can't fine. spin this. I saved us no time and I was incorrect. And now as Jeremy cuts the pieces, I will be painting the outside strip. And my husband is so smart. He's really smart. And handsome. And really funny. He's and really, funny. really tall. And once you gotta hold on me She's the warmth of the summer, the color of the spring She's the strongest wind, the calmest breeze And once you gotta hold on me That girl, she's like the finest wine We finished up our back two windows. Now we are going to move our way around and work on the girls' room. It's a great new doghouse, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. Before we get started on the slider, we want to share our snack belt choice of the day. It's no longer Melissa's snack belt snack choice of the day. I don't know because you keep stealing all the snacks. I don't know because you don't wear your belt anymore. What's up with that? All the snacks made it too small. Anyway, today we are having snacks from Bucky's. We get these awesome little snack packs from Bucky's from you guys, which rock because they have the best snacks today because i did not get my usual four cups of coffee i'm eating chocolate covered espresso beans i've had about 20 of these in my pocket will get publicly increasingly faster if i eat more it's the last thing we need mm. no don't eat them like that it's like a cup of coffee hyped. it's like a mocha we're gonna smile and it's gonna be all stuck in our teeth you got coffee beans in your teeth a little bit of a pick me up kicking in right now i'm feeling yeah. the energy you're not supposed to drink them i like coffee mm -hmm. We got our first slider done. I think we're starting to get into the groove of the work today. It always takes us a little bit of time to figure out each project. And then once we get it figured out, we're able to move significantly faster. But that first little window took us way longer than the entire slider did. Yeah, we're moving right along. Yeah. It's going well. So you guys may notice that we don't have any trim set on the bottom of this sliding glass door here. And that's going to be the case with all three on the front of the house. Reason for that being we're going to have a giant, not giant, a big concrete slab patio poured here at the front of the house. And because of that, we're going to have to build just a short stairway at each slider. We want the top step of those stairways to uh, match the bottom of the door here. So people aren't tripping as they come in and out. So that's the reason there's no trim. While Jeremy measures for that first window in the front, I'll talk about kind of what we want to do with the patio. So we're hoping to start it on the side of the house and then take it all the way free edge around the front of the house, all the way to the sliding glass door by the master bedroom. That way the entire front is like a nice stamped, hopefully stained patio. Decks don't do really well out here because of all of the snow and rain. They just kind of rot after a couple years. And so we don't want to build Moist. it. Don't I hate that word. Do you see? Now you just totally just messed with my mind. So we don't want to put all the money and work into doing a wood deck that is just going to inevitably rot off the front of the house. Inevitably. Inevitably. So we're going to be doing a large free edge patio and then we will have just stairs, probably three stairs going into each bedroom and into the front of the house. We're 
were going to take a quick lunch break, but we came to sneak inside to see how the electrical is going. There are outlets everywhere, and I love it. It is so exciting to see the progress. I'm gonna stop eating chocolate covered espresso beans and go eat some real food. All right, back to work. We have two sliders and two windows. We'll see if we can get this done before dinner. This trim looks awesome. I love it. It does. It actually makes the window look awesome. Yeah. It somehow improved the appearance of the window, I think. Well, it makes them look thicker. Yeah, it just looks like it's more high end to mm -hmm. me personally. That's my personal take. And we didn't even go with the thick trim. We could have gone with thicker trim here, but we decided instead to go with this narrow trim because we were concerned with the gap that we were going to end up with between the slider and this window. So with what we have here now, we're going to have to cut a bunch of little strips when we go to do our siding get that stuck in between here, but I think the end result will look really, really nice. Yeah, it'll look good. Yeah, we're all about that contrast. So we'll have the black and obviously the black frame windows and doors and it'll all be broken up by our full wood siding, log siding. So I'm excited about it. It's officially autumn, a time of unpredictable weather, winter preparations, and immense pressure to wrap up all of the outside work both on the homestead and on our house. This time next month, snow could be flying, and we would love to be safely inside working for the cold season ahead. Despite the hustle that fall brings, it is one of my favorite times of the year. The sun sits lower in the sky, and it seems to set everything that it touches aglow. The misty cool mornings and the chill in the afternoon breeze remind us to enjoy it while it lasts, to savor the sun while it still feels warm on our skin. This time of year helps me to notice regular things just a little bit more. The slow change of the land, the echo of the kids playing outside, and the importance of each passing day. It occurred to me while looking around today that maybe the amount of extraordinary things that happen in our lives depend only upon what we take the time to notice. Well done. Well done. Good. Yeah, turned out great. I love the way it looks. Me too. 